I'm visiting today with Harriet Grigg, and I want to show you some of her award-winning quilts. These quilts were made by Harriet Grigg, one of my friends. She now lives in an assisted living. A worker had to film these quilts for me because of COVID. Harriet said that she painted these squares, different shapes and colors and sizes, and then she stitched them together. When you see a close-up, you can see how she did the stitching. Again, on this one, she painted all of the shells. I don't know if she painted them individually and then stitched them, or if it was all one piece of cloth and then stitched. Harriet painted this scene and she said she just didn't think that it was finished. And so she found photographs of the ducks and made the white cloth and stitched it in. And then she liked it better. I think it's beautiful. For this one, she said she wanted to do a white heron and especially wanted to do the babies in the nest. It has a lot of texture on it that we can't see as well in the videos. I especially like her pelican especially with the fibers hanging from the limbs. She is just a wonderful artist, not only for quilt, but for other types of art also. Harriet, I've visited in your home several times and seen all of the different kinds of crafts and things that you do. I, I know you do clay, because I went to clay class with you, and all kinds of other things. What What do you think is your favorite one? Do you have a well, favorite? Well, usually maybe whatever the latest thing I'm working on. Yeah. <laughs> Is usually my favorite, and then when I get through with that, I pick up something else and work on it. And you've painted the fabric uh -huh. um, for each one of them. I love the one, all of them, but the one that had the seashells on it. Mm -mm. And I got out some of my seashells and started to try to do one like you did. But well, I just <coughs> trace. I can, I think I kind of traced the outline, put uh -huh. the shell down and traced it, and then uh, maybe take a pencil and and put the lines as, and then paint it. You know. Right, and you used acrylic paint. Yeah, and uh, my shells. I was so surprised. They were um, kind of pale, and so I thought they were going to fade away. And I got to use of that spray we sprayed to keep protect the dust, and that has brought the colors out. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know about that, but I I didn't either until I tried it on that uh, right that, uh, the space shells. Well, that's good. And was the was it all one piece, or did you cut each shell out and then tie some I, I kind of cut the, uh, I draw the shell off and then uh, place, rearranged it around because I didn't know how I wanted it. Right. And it I has... just uh, cut the seashell out. And... Uh, and left enough for a seam. Right. And uh, then uh, 
worked the colors in this block and all. Okay. Um, and then you put batting under it. Uh -huh. Okay, well that's good. And you were just now telling me about your tamari balls that um, you just got back from your home that you're going to finish. Uh -huh. And that's using... Uh, uh, there's several different patterns out, books about them. You, you, you can do the soft, small ones or, or larger, you size you want. Right. And then you start uh, you just wrapping it then. And I usually take uh, uh, the fabric, uh, the thread, and I cut it around, just make it so it, when you start wrapping, you don't have heavy pieces or small pieces. Uh, oh, okay. You Good. might want to use the heavy, start wrapping, and then you add uh, the regular sewing thread. Okay. Uh, they say it's what was supposed to be the real. The real tamari balls. Okay. And you get beautiful designs with that. Um, they got. I think Boo's got my. She knows where it's at. She, she brought me three other days. She came up and brought. She can, so that you can finish those up while you're here. Here are a couple of the tamari balls that Harriet made, and she gave them to me one time, and I wanted you to see, see the sewing thread that she was talking about, the orange underneath, and then the other threads that are wrapped around into a design. I think it's just amazing. And then this one, you can see the different threads. So that is the Tamari ball that she has made. Okay, well that's good. Well I'm just so thankful that I've been able to see all of your different works and I remember all of the clay things the sculptures and the uh, I like to keep moving right well that's good that's good that keeps us young doesn't it <laughs> okay well I thank you